So come on, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. You get up, stand up. I wanna hear. Don't give up. Hear this. You can go into certain parts of East and West Baltimore and you see poverty like you would in the developing world. And generation upon generation, inequality. It's one of the things that's right at the heart of why the Freddie Gray thing blew up. The face of Freddie Gray gazes over the corner where he was arrested without cause and hauled into a police van. A visual tribute to the 25-year-old who died of a severed spinal cord. Six police are currently awaiting trial for his arrest and murder. Don't give up the fight. On stage downtown, Bob Marley's songs of revolution resonate too with what happened to Freddie Gray and the protest that followed. To show the people that we're gonna unite. To show the people that you over our right. The play called Marley is written and directed by Britain's Kwame Koyama. We were in the middle of a technical rehearsal when maybe a thousand people marched past the theatre and everybody ran out of the theatre and ran outside in order to cheer or to support or just to watch this historic event happening. The city curfew cut short rehearsals for the play's opening but layered the words Marley wrote with a new level of meaning. I mean, I woke up on the morning after the, the curfew and I put on Bob Marley's Burning and a Looting. And the lyrics are, this morning I woke up in a curfew. Oh God, I am a prisoner too. Could not recognize the faces standing over me. They were in uniforms of brutality. They were all dressed in uniforms of brutality. And I was like, if Bob Marley was talking in, in, in that way then, I know that we can serve by singing his songs. And so we, the whole theatre got behind it, and we drove to uh, Penn and North and stood outside the burnt-out CVS and sang Bob's songs for 45 minutes. One. And I could see as we were singing across the road, people were standing by the subway station and dancing and punching the air. People would come up to us and say, thank you for the healing. This is what you do, Baltimore. You get up, stand up. Pump your fist in the air. Olu Butterfly was almost too overwhelmed to sing on the street. She's a Baltimore performer in the cast of Marley, but defined by her experiences teaching children in the neighborhood where Freddie Gray was killed. And I've been working in that neighborhood for a very, very long time, and it's been very overwhelming to work there um, because the young people, they, um, I'm sorry, the young people have to deal with things that I don't think a person should have to deal with. We have young people whose whole family is gone because of violence. You have other people who um, maybe their mother sold all their Christmas gifts because they were on substance abuse. But the people are catching hell out there. You know, with the state of emergency. No, 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 Baltimore's moment of emergency is past, but the crisis plays on. For Kwame Kweama, the Black Lives Matter movement that began a year ago in Ferguson won't be swept aside. I think America is going through its second civil rights era. What we're hearing are cries of, I don't know how to tell my children how to survive. I don't know how to teach my sons how to not be brutalized. But also white America saying, I don't know what you want of me because you have a black president. I don't know what you want of me because I'm not as racist as my parents or my grandparents. Look at the progress we have made. Everyone dances at the end of Mali, black or white, to the same revolutionary rhythm. Off stage, the campaign for harmony is only just beginning. Put your fist in the air! Kylie Morris, Channel 4 News, Baltimore.